What's happening, beautiful people of the Grams? This is Jose Trujillo. By the way, this is a, a lot darker than what it actually looks like because there's a lot of light. Let me see if I turn off this light right here. You might see, no, still very light. It looks very light, but it's a lot darker. Just wanted to give you that heads up. So I'm playing around with toned canvases right now. That's what I'm doing. And uh, I'm toning some of my canvases. Just for kicks, you know. So I'm gonna paint lamb chops play along. No, I'm just joking, but it is a little lamb. I just wanted to call it lamb chops play along. Would kid would kids come to play along? It's the some little eyes, a little lamb. Then right here we're gonna do a little, a little, I think this is the nostrils. I think so. Super simple, check it out. <whistles> Meh. Is that, is that what they do? I think so. I might be confused. Boom, there it is. Just a little lamb. Okay. Something like that. Just for just for kicks, guys. Just for kicks. Here, okay. Now we're going to put some ears. Another ear right here. And then now, now what we're gonna do is put a little piece of the puzzle right here. We need we need the little body. So notice when you're playing with a toned canvas, uh, yeah, when you're playing with a toned canvas, you, uh, is what a lot of artists do in order to evade the, how daunting a white canvas is. And it's a perfect way for you to uh, nail a painting, basically. You, you, it's, it's a perfect way to nail a painting. Essentially, that's what it is. That's what it's for. Uh, nail the, the, the tones. And uh, because the white canvas, when you're drawing or you're painting on it, your values and tones are harder to catch unless, unless you have some sort of uh, something else off white that, that will help you um, put those, those values correct. You know, and it helps with everything. It doesn't just help with the the, the, the toning of the camera. I mean, it doesn't just help with the values. It also helps with uh, the drawing. When you're initially drawing, it, it it looks 
quicker it looks like a like a finished piece and i'll i'll explain why in a little second look if i were to which is what a lot of artists out there do if i were to put some uh look at look at what i'm talking about here if i were just to put some some white right here like there's a uh, let's call it a little light right there it shows you very quick I don't know if you can see it here maybe you can or can't it shows you very quick um, what the painting can look like because the, the canvas is toned as opposed to just having a, a white canvas it's a little harder to distinguish And it helps a lot of artists. I don't, I don't blame artists who tone their canvas. I think it's a good thing. I think you should play, play with it. I, I generally don't do any of this stuff. But every now and then I, I play around with it. Maybe just not to lose practice. Not that I don't need it. It's, it's beautiful to play with it. I just don't, I don't really use it often. When you're doing realism, by the way, this is not realism. If anything, this is maybe closer to, to impressionism. But when you do any sort of realism, um, the, the main thing to, to figure out is uh, the difference between the various um, tints before you get to white. What most people do... Um, wrong I guess in realism is that they go into white very fast and then you can't make the painting wider anymore if that makes any sense like you can't bring it out anymore because you, you jump into white very fast it's a common, it's a common mistake in painting um, when you're starting out if, if, if you're painting realism okay just a little tip for those of you who do that this is not realism I'm not trying to paint realism as you can see this is a very bold quick brush stroke uh, more in the more in the line of impressionism than anything else but I do use some of the some of the I guess uh, principles of realism Check it out, check it out. Okay, look at this. Boom. A little lamb. Now I'm going to go and start playing with uh, the white. It's not really white, but right here it looks very white. Again, because of the toned, the toned canvas. A little underpainting there. If you want to 
paint anything in a realist way, this is hands down the best way to do it. Tone your canvas. It's a little hidden secret that it's not a secret, but a lot of artists out there treat it as if it's a secret. I assure you it's not a secret. This is this is old. Old like Da Vinci old. That's how old this kind of stuff is. Don't let, don't let other artists out there fool you into thinking that, that this is their personal secret, because it's not. <laughs> I've seen some artists talk about it, like if it's their, like if it's their secret. Like, I tone my canvases. Or, or I see some artists that tone their canvases with uh, uh, very bright colors, fuchsias or whatever, and, and they, they're acting like it's their secret, too. This is this is standard painting. This is painting 101. It's very standard. To tone or underpaint your work in order to, to catch a, a what the toning does is that you're creating a um, they call it they also call it a ground. But you're operating with a middle ground. In other words, you, you, you have a platform in which to to add light and dark. When you're when you're playing with a white canvas that is not toned down, you have to create that middle ground. And that's tricky if you don't if you don't have the experience. It's very tricky to, to do as an artist. Uh, again, it's one of the most difficult things for artists. Finding the the middle ground in which you can put your values not your personal values but the values of painting <laughs> yeah. it almost paints itself because yeah. you know, there's a there's a ground supporting it it almost happens by itself one could almost say that the painting is is uh, man, half finished that way, you know. Meh. <laughs> Look at that. And you can add or remove as much, you know, realism as you want or, or whatever you want. I like to keep them like this. I will add some white, some just in very key areas. And you'll see the difference between the white and the actual body. simple super simple and uh, I want to keep it around the same color scheme I don't want to deflect the color scheme too much but I need to I, I want to add some some green so I will add some green right here Now, I'm a badass when it comes to painting. It's just that not enough people know it yet. <laughs> we need some people to find out. 
about the world's greatest living artist. There it is, my little lamb. Super simple, check it out. One little cool thing about, about these little creatures is that their eyes go inward like that. So there it is my friends. Hope you enjoy this little segment. Boom. There it is. Take care. We'll be talking to you soon again. Peace out.